Ladies and gentlemen, and all the viewers of North America watching us in US and Canada, you're watching your favorite show, The Monty Khan Show on ITV Gold. Well, as the great Martin Scorsese said, there are only two kinds of films made in this world, one that's mortal and one that's immortal. A film that you watch, go home and forget about it, and a film that you watch stays in your DNA, in your life forever. I'm very honored and privileged to be with a cast of one of such films called Gather 2. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one and only Sakina. Hi. Amisha Patel, my God, what an epic, what a movie, what a period in Indian cinema. I'm very grateful to God and my audiences for the kind of love they're showering on Gadar once again. And, um, you know, like you said, immortal cinema, uh, when people take back what they have seen and it becomes part of their DNA. And rightly so, Tara and Sakina were part of their DNA and that's why 22 years later they're curious about Tara and Sakina's next chapter, their next phase in their life and um, to go see them and give them the love all over once again. Well, uh, Amisha, I want to say something to you and I want to make a very candid confession. I believe that you hold a time stone. <laughs> time has just stood still. You look exactly the same that you looked two decades ago. I think even more beautiful, even more elegant, even more charming. What is the secret behind it? I, I know I completely <laughs> sidetracked from Gadar because I'm looking at you and I look that That's grace, that smile. That's a good sidetrack to have. <laughs> I know, I know, that smile just took all my pain, my jet lag away, coming down from New York and meeting you, my gosh, what is the secret? I think uh, genetically I'm blessed. My grandmother did not age at all. Uh, she was wrinkle free till the day she passed away at the age of 90, wow. but then good habits. You know, they say if you maintain a Rolls Royce well, it remains a Rolls Royce. If you don't maintain it well, it can become a fiat. I think no drugs, no alcohol, no really? uh, smoking. I've never touched these things. You know, even if I have to drink, it'll be a glass of wine on occasion. And uh, basically being a good person inside, I, I haven't let the child in me die. So maybe that's that childishness well just shows, that's all. Well, I remember the movie, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, you're going back in time. So, <laughs> you know, you. I won't be surprised if there'll be another Gadda 3. Even if it happens 10 years later, you're still going to look the same. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. But coming back to this epic, this magnum opus, I've got my facts straight. $43 million US dollars, 363 crores, six days, oh my God. What are you guys doing? You guys are creating history. How do you feel to be a part of this history? I feel immensely grateful and immensely, immensely appreciative to my audiences. Very, very blessed by God that uh, the amount of love and respect and l complete madness they have showered upon this film. Why? Why, Amisha, if I had to ask I think you? we maintained the essence of Gadar and after a long time, uh, people have come back to the cinemas to see a family film a film that they can sit universally with any age group and watch without any sort of embarrassment. Uh, great music, emotion intact, power-packed performances, a great action that Sunny does that, you know, gets people charged, good dialogues, patriotism. I think everything is there and there is not one moment where anyone needs to be embarrassed of something. You know, and that is, after a long time, Hindi cinema has seen a family film with good family values intact in it and good bonding. And, um, you know, taken away from the abusive languages, uh, you know, that is available freely on OTT, um, you know, sexual intimacy or things like that, which uh, does scare a parent to watch. And, you know, they, they feel that maybe even the youth is getting spoilt or, you know, sidetracked side, side side from Correct. the actual family traditional values. But in this case, uh, Gadar gave them nothing to be embarrassed about. So, um, and great and maybe, music. Maybe that coming after the 20 years, yes. maybe that patience and that I they kept on. I think the most important thing was that people's, like you said, immortals, Tara and Sakina immortal. in their hearts, uh, brought them back to see what is the next chapter in their lives. And they were very curious because they've, they've loved Tara and Sakina from film one. And uh, they've taken this love so seriously and showered it upon us in, in part two that we can only say God is kind and our audiences are fabulous. Audiences are fabulous and coming back to the audiences, we're talking about 
people who live in the U.S. Now, there, are, there is a generation in the U.S. They get their culture from Bollywood. And I know you won't be surprised because you've been coming to the U.S. There are kids who grow up watching Sakina, mm. or, you know, watching these famous characters from Bollywood. And with great power comes great responsibility. You know, there are, there are generations. I mean, there are people who have grown up uh, and in awe of you, in awe of Sakina, the character. Mm. I've been to so many weddings, so many functions, and everybody wants to look like you. You know, everybody wants to portray that that flamboyance that you have. Mm. So how do you carry that forward? I don't know. I think Sakina is a char character so close to my heart. And she's very like me. She's very clean. She's dignified. She has a silent strength in the face of adversity, which she deals with with a lot of dignity. You know, she doesn't need to yell and scream to get her she point across. Yes. She says it even in a way, an, an authoritative, but very, um, yet in a very classy, polite way, but with Just authority. Like so I, in many ways, I'm very similar to her. She doesn't need to scream from rooftops. And I think it's her quiet elegance, her softness, uh, powered by Sunny's manliness. Um, the, you yin know, and, the yin and yang. Yeah, the yin and yang. You know, they're great energy and magic together, and I think that's what makes them so lovable. I think her delicate princess-like, um, you know, at, uh, her whole attribute compared to Sunny's manliness, he becomes a larger-than-life hero. She be and, and he always says this, that I was an arm admi, a truck driver, and I was a Ki khwab thi, mujhe Raj Kumari Raj milde, Kumari you know. Milde. So I think it's that beautiful bond that they have. Plus, in a film like this, we talk about bonding of family. We talk about equality of religion. Uh, Sakina is still Muslim. Muslim. She still reads the Quran. She still does her namaz. It's she beautiful. practices Islam, living in a Sikh family and in Punjab. That is so and beautiful. Tara Singh has never imposed it upon her to change to and they, to convert, they, they live in harmony and I think that's a great signal um, and a great lesson that Gadar has taught the world before as well as now that love is the big, biggest language humanity and the biggest religion the biggest and religion. humanity is the biggest religion. So I think people have liked that, you know, that we don't preach hatred. Wow. So You have actually given me the USP of this film. Yeah. How was it, how was your reaction when Anil Sharma called you and said, we are making Gadar too? What? Scared actually whether we should fidget <laughs> with a legacy. Yes, uh, I read that Sunny you know, Deol had to be convinced. convinced. And excited as well at the same time that, um, you know, we'll be able to relive our characters. Scared that will people love it again, all over again. Have they forgotten us? I knew they'd not forgotten us no. because. Gadar Can is you not ever forget it. Jack and Rose from the famous no, Titanic? You, can't, you, can't. you cannot replace so that's Leonardo. What they, called and it, they called it the Indian Titanic, you know. So. We knew we lived in the hearts of people, and that's why I think we were scared to mess with the legacy because no one's done that in the past. No Shole, no Mughli Azam, no Pakiza, uh, no Mother India has ever had, no iconic cult has had a part two like this. Correct. You get the regular sequels, one after the other, but those are Friday to Friday releases. Yeah. Not immortal films that you talk about. And when you, uh, you know, you're scared to deal with something that's immortal, you're scared to mess with that legacy. But uh, we did it with the purity of our hearts, with all our heart and soul in it, and hard work and sincerity. We didn't do it, ki chalo sequel hai, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to lagni hi hai. Correct. We did it with the intention that people must actually come out loving what we're showing them. And uh, it was a sincere effort made by everybody, and I think by the grace of God and the audience love, you know, we've, we've captured the essence of Gadar in Gadar too and people are loving it all over again. People are loving it not only in India but all over the world. Something that you would like to share about Anand Sharma, I believe that this man is larger than life, the movies no, actually, that he makes. Uh, the Shakti Manji, the writer and his tuning with Sunny is what's larger than life. Uh, more than Anil Sharma, I think Sunny Diol uh, and Sakina and the characters have gather in their blood in their blood you know and uh, when they come into that it's like wearing wonder woman and superman costumes you know and i always tease sunny i said superman still gets replaced uh, you james can. bond still gets re replaced every time they need a new bond but tara singh and sakina can never be replaced you know and that is the beauty because we set our names in stone you know where the indian audience is concerned and um, Sunny has rejected many other ideas before uh, this, so I think it's it's him that really is the driving force. Um, uh, you know, till he didn't give the go ahead, this project could not have gone ahead. 
I think his thoughts are very larger than life. Any unsung heroes of the project? Najib Khan, the Najib cinematographer. Najib Khan, superb. That's why today in today's media address, you know, I requested him to cut and, um, you know, I think he needed to be applauded for Gadar One, giving it a look many times. The people, cinematographer, ladies the, and gentlemen. Yes, the, the fabulous DOP. Cinetor, uh, cinetor, cinematographer. Cinematographer. The fabulous, absolutely par excellence. Um, to make a period film is not a joke because you have to take people back into an era, in which time. is very difficult and not everyone's cup of tea to do to convince you that you are actually in that period. Yeah. He did Biggest it with Gadar 1 and now he's done it with Gadar 2. And that was 1955, 1947 to 55, and now we're in 71. Change of technology. And he's managed it so beautifully. Uh, Rocky S, my designer of my costumes, my hair and makeup team, Jayavandar Pooja, like everybody who helped uh, convince the world that Sakina can be a mother. You know, yeah, and uh, for Gadar, of course, I can be it ten times over, but only for Gadar. But uh, it, it took a lot of conviction to go ahead and make this film. And the choreographer, uh, you know, did her job well. The action director, Mithun. Uh, Mithun, has done a spectacular job recreating iconic songs like Urja Kali Kava and Main Ikla is no difficult, uh, no easy feat. Absolutely. It's actually a very difficult task. Absolutely. Because you have a colossal history and you're actually trying to rewrite it. So it's a task for a composer as well, and I think he's done an absolutely brilliant job, you know. So. Well, kudos to you and the entire team. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, why do I keep calling you Sakina, guys? I mean, because that's the okay. character- That's okay, I'm fine I, to be called I, Sakina. I keep forgetting that that's Amisha Patel. But Amisha, I, I personally feel like you're a destiny's child, you know, from cathedral to Tufts doing, uh, you know, eco, and then coming back and putting your, playing your hands in, in the stock Chilling. market, yeah. and, and then finally getting Kahona Piare without even doing an audition. I mean, I think like you are a, a, a perfect example for all the dreamers who are watching <laughs> you. Anything that you would like to share about your life to all the dreamers in US, Canada? Well, dreaming is one thing, but you have to work towards your goals. Dreams okay. do come true if you work hard. You can't dream and say, Chalo, I'll dream and it'll happen. Uh, you have to also have uh, a solid backup and that backup is an education. And that's what's kept me in good stead through my ups and downs because I knew no matter what, uh, people can rob you of everything, but they can't rob you of your education. Oh, beautiful. And that gives you your discipline the in life. And uh, your you the biggest ammunition is your education. So um, my, my only advice to all the youngsters and everybody who wants to aspire to be part of an entertainment industry, never give up on your education because it is the most risky industry in the world. Absolutely. And you should have that education to fall back on. But I have a beautiful story and, you know, I mean, I believe that success is being at the right place at the right time. You were at a wedding and you were You're leaving, leaving and, and yes. Rakesh Roshan saw you. Yes. So had you left 30 seconds Earlier, before that? Or he entered, or, or he entered 30 okay, seconds later? I would have later, missed him, yes. You would have missed him, right? Yeah. So I believe that And then in three timing, days or four days post that wedding, I started filming Kavana Pyare, literally. Wow. Wow. So I think I was also part of their good destiny. They were also part of my good destiny and all our stars aligned for the right film. What do we have in store in future? What is Amisha Patel, Loads of announcements Sakina? very soon and like they have to be made at a proper time, they will be made and hopefully lots of good work, lots of untapped uh, roles to tap and looking forward to uh, enthralling my audiences once again. Well, I wish you all the very best, uh, Sakina, Amisha. Thank you. You know, I love that Sakina uh, because it's the Sakina time. It's the Sakina era going on right now. Tara Singh and Sakina are ruling our hearts and ruling movie theaters in India, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching this interview in the United States, go to your nearest movie theater. By the way, it's a $100 affair to take your family yeah. to a movie theater in the U.S. I can ask for more, uh, Amisha. Closing notes for your lovely people across the seven seas. Just want to say to all you fans who have stood by me from the year 2000, from my first release, thank you for being with me. Thank you for showering all the love on me. And I hope that I keep giving you all loads and loads of entertainment, lots of tears and lots of laughter, both, and lots and lots of love. And trust me, she looks even more beautiful in person, guys. I can't tell you how blessed I am. This is your host, Monty, signing off. Keep watching the Monty Khan Show.